Traveling by plane is a luxury many of us take for granted. It wasn't until the 1930s that commercial flights took off. Today, the Ford tri motor plane that helped launch the industry landed in Kearney. News 5's Kelly Baumgarten took a ride on the plane that started it all. Imagine the days before American Airlines or Delta. Before the 1930s, if you wanted to travel by air, you had to board a mail carrier plane. In those days, you were second class to mail. You know, you'd have to be in open cockpit airplanes flying with mail bags. It wasn't until Henry Ford realized the potential for mass air transportation that the commercial airline industry took flight. Henry said, treat people like people and, uh, and do first class transportation, so he built the airplane to start the airline industry. Ford's trimotor aircraft was first built in 1926. There are only five of these planes left that can still fly, and only one still offers public flights. And that 1929 aircraft landed right here in Kearney. When you're inside, it looks like a train car from the day, make people comfortable. The plane launched the Eastern Airlines, has been in two major movies, and has done its fair share of aerial firefighting. Now, when you take a flight on a Ford trimotor plane, it's like traveling back in time. Fast forward to today and take a look at our modern passenger planes. They are inspired by aircraft just like this one. It's truly a part of history, and especially American history, with uh, you know, opening up uh, air travel. But taking a flight like this didn't come cheap. You know, it would be like an all-first-class airplane now, so yeah, you're, paying, you're paying pretty dear uh, for a ticket. But, you know, gee whiz, you get across the country in only three days. That's amazing! And now Central Nebraskans have the chance to see for themselves how far aircraft technology has come. I had a lot of imagination back in 29 to come up with something like this. So. While the plane might be a little slower... We take off, fly, and land all about 80 miles an hour. It's a little slower than most airplanes. It's much more comfortable than any commercial plane you'll ride in today. And the real breakthrough was putting it all together to make the passengers comfortable and feel safe. Reporting in Kearney, I'm Kelly Baumgarten.